Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to part 11 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the Monad household. Alrighty guys, and welcome back to some more Sims 4 gameplay. I'm currently here with Candace, who is clearly very confident. She's like, all about herself today. Get it, girls, all I gotta say. She's like, in the stance, like, yes. But uh, before we get into the actual gameplay, I do want to talk about the first ever Sims 4 patch, because I do think this is actually kind of a big deal. Um, as most of you guys know, uh, there is patches for... The Sims, pretty much every game usually typically has a patch. Um, pretty much, you know, it will fix game glitches, game problems, and sometimes, just sometimes, it comes with new content. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about this patch. First things first, it actually came with a new cheat, which I'm sure a lot of you guys will be like, freaking hooplaing about. Sounds like a lot of hoopla! It sounds like a lot hoopla! of hoopla! Sounds like a hoopla because it is something that a lot of people have been, um, you know, complaining about. So it is pretty much the hover thingy. You see how when I hover over Candace, it's like a white glow. A lot of people don't really like that. I mean, I don't really mind it, but I wouldn't mind getting rid of it either. Uh, so pretty much what you do is you go into your control or not your control panel, but your cheat box. And then what you're going to go ahead and do is type in hover effects on or off. So I'm going to turn mine off. So I do hover effects off and it says hover effects off. Ooh, who would have guessed? Uh, so now you can see when I hover over Candace, there's no longer a hover, which I mean is pretty nice. And now I'm going to show you guys the new object. All right, guys, and here is the new object that comes with the first patch ever, which is a high rider gnome. That's what it's called. It's a high rider gnome. It is pretty much a gnome on a flamingo. So if you guys have been playing The Sims for a pretty long time, you know that they are kind of obsessed with flamingos, gnomes, llamas, grilled cheese. I don't know, but uh, yeah, so it's it's pretty cute and uh, I love it because I, I've been a fan of the flamingo statue ever since like The Sims 1. And now every time I see a flamingo, I'm like, girl, you was in The Sims. <laughs> I don't know, but here are the three recolorables that you have for it. You have like a yellow, green, blue guy. You have an orange, red, blue, and then a red brown blue i don't know they are 230 simoleons for those who are on a budget like i am these are for you now for those who don't know where you can actually find these just head into your buy mode go to decorations then go to statues and it's right here so the more you know Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay. Currently, Candace is on her last day off, which is super, super sad. And to get a promotion, she does need to uh, get her mixology skill up by one more point. So I'm going to have her come out here and make a wrench. Uh, just, you know. Um, okay, Candace, you can go ahead and pick that up. Do not be dirty. Ooh, who is that? Oh, there's Katrina. <laughs> here is Katrina as a elder. I am going to age her down because I want, you know, now to have babies and stuff. But yeah, there she is. She kind of looks like she has veneers. Old people don't have amazing teeth. Well, some people do. Some people, if you take care of your teeth really, really well, they have some really, really nice teeth. But it is nice to see that even as an elder, she's not, you know, hutchback and all of that. Kind of like in The Sims 3. I don't get why they were hutchbacked. I don't. Ooh, look at her listening to music. Damn, she is getting it. <laughs> Go make another one. Go make a juice on the rocks. I love her. She's loving it. She's getting the music. Great tunes. Nothing cheers up a sim like some great tunes. Oh, here's Nina Caliente. Look at her little... This is Katrina's daughter, one of them. A little... She looks like a little uh, bimbo. <laughs> but, you know, you can't judge by the looks. I'm just saying, just saying. She is hot, though. I'll give her that. I will give her that. Um, all right, Candace, how about we go to the gym after you finish your drink? Foodie Sim only enjoys truly inspired drinks. Okay, well, my bad, really. And is that Dina Caliente? I, I, I can't tell. She's too far away. 
Um, but yeah, we are, what's the matter with her? Oh, she's going to sleep. Girl, no, you're not. She's going to rest up just a little bit. All right. Oh, <gasps> he did it. Boy, you can have your wedding now because you did this. He got promoted to a hungry artist. He got a bonus of 464 simoleons. Um, awesome. So he now makes a grand total of 26 simoleons per an hour. And his next shift is on Friday at 9 a.m. So I guess we will have our wedding on Saturday. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. So, oh my gosh. Oh. I don't want this weekend to end. R B Rebecca Black's kind of tired too, but yeah, he made enough simoleons that I am going to allow him to get married on Saturday. Very exciting, and we got the study of human form, which is uh, this picture right here. Let's go ahead and place it maybe over his bed. This is it right here. It's pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Uh, what does he need for his next promotion? Uh, create three different sized uh, paintings, uh, reach level four of the painting skills. So you know what, Noah, while we're gone, go ahead and resume doing this. Uh, while Candace actually wakes up. Oh, yeah, 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 Candace. And we are going to go ahead and travel all the way to the gym. So I am going to travel to the Movers and Shaker gym and oh, we can select a sim to travel with. I don't want to travel with any. Actually, Jose. Hey, boy. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So here we are with Jose looking so freaking cute. Um, we're going to go ahead and blow him a kiss. But here we are. Here's Eliza. Our good, good friend Eliza. So I guess we'll come over here and practice punching with her. Oh, so cute. Actually, oh, I was going to say, we'll come over here, but is there more upstairs? That'd be awesome. No, but there's a bar upstairs. Oh, it's just actually, it's not even a bar. It's just like a table. Cool. Um, oh, no, she took this. Girl, get out of here. C come here. Come here. Yeah, we just want to talk to you. Okay, we're gonna go practice punching now. She's like, hey girl, did you call me? Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh-oh, her and Jose must have had like a little argument. Zoom into that old lady's face right here. Mm, yes, yes, just yes. Alrighty, so here is Candace getting her workout on with Eliza. This girl's about to steal your punching bag. Get over here. Jose is just chilling. <laughs> okay, I just thought I was recording and I totally wasn't. How embarrassing. Um, but pretty much nothing happened. So don't worry, guys. You missed literally nothing. Uh, what I was saying is I think I'm going to have Candace invite Jose over, who looks so sad. He's like, why is Candace ignoring me? But yeah, we're going to invite him over and actually ask him to move in. I know, I know. Guys are like, what? Already? Yes, already. He is fine. And, you know, when you meet a fine sim, you just have to grab him or her. So, uh, I am going to travel with him to our house. We're going to see if he wants to move in. Extra simoleons. We already got a double bed. It's meant to be. Alrighty, guys. And here we are with Jose. We're going to go ahead and actually, uh, let's see. Get to know him a little bit. Hmm. We're going to hug him. We are going to tell him how much we like him. And we're going to tell a joke about penguins because that's, that's what cool kids do, guys. Um, let's see. <laughs> um, we're going to, of course, confess our attraction. If he already did, like he doesn't already know, please. All right, let's see. We are going to. Hmm. Invite him to stay the night just so he knows he's totally down to like sleep here whenever he wants. Ask him if he's single. Of course he's single. 
a sleepover? That sounds great. Yay. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to profess our undying love. Ask to move in. There it is. Yay. She's like reading him Shakespeare or something. Okay. Yeah. I want him to move in. All right, so we are going to invite Jose to move in with us, and it says he has about 20,000 simoleons, which if he has 20,000 simoleons, I will cry. Jose, bring that money, please. Oh my god. I'm get I'm about to die. 21,000 simoleons. Jose, you are legit bae. Oh my gosh, that rhymes. Jose is legit bae. Yes, if you have a Twitter, tweet that because you know you want to. Jose is legit bae. Um, yeah, we have a lot of simoleons now, which means there will be a wedding. There will be a house upgrade. Jose is legit bae. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like about to die because... 20,000 simoleons left. That is such a big deal. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do really, 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 really quickly is uh, I'm going to probably, I don't know, get a couch. What happened to my couch? Okay, so yeah, I guess I'm going to get something. Alrighty, guys. And I went ahead and decorated quite a bit, if you can't tell. So here is the new kitchen. It is, you know, because it is Candace's headquarters, as some would say, as a aspiring chef and he is in love with Candace. I thought I would go ahead and kind of treat her with a nice little room, I guess. Um, so yeah, appliances pretty much have been upgraded. She has a nice huge island, a nice coffee maker right here, brew pot of, oh, oh, there's so much I can make. This is actually a tea maker, which is even cooler. Uh, we have, of course, the microwave and all that good stuff. And then over here is the new living room. And we have a brand new TV, which is very, very exciting. And right here, we actually have a cork board because we are going to start having a pen pal because I want to collect postcards, um, some daisies and candles and stuff like that. And then we have a bookshelf right here so you can purchase books and read and do all that stuff. And then I didn't really do too much to Noah's room other than give him a nice curtain because I am going to be having him have a wedding. Um, and then right here is a, a bedroom. <laughs> they are. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I did. But I'm very, very happy. We still have 11,000 simoleons, which means there is still a lot that we can upgrade. But I want to kind of hold off a little bit. So let's go ahead and actually clean up this trash. He's probably not impressed. He's like... What is all of this? But yeah, we're going to go ahead and clean that up. And uh, very excited to have Jose here. Very, very excited. Uh, let's go ahead and read a little bit about his simology. Okay. He is almost a adult. Okay. Um, he is a bro perfectionist, goofball, and a collector. Does he have a job? He doesn't. Let's go ahead and... Hold on, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and join a profession or career. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know what I want him to be. He could be an entertainer. I don't know. A tech guru? No. Secret agent? Maybe. That'd be... You know, we're going to do the astronaut because I do want to kind of do all of that because it is a pretty awesome career. You have to admit to be an astronaut. That is pretty freaking awesome. So, and he also has the weekend off. So, yeah, we are going to be an astronaut. I mean, he is a perfectionist and I feel like that's one of the qualities that you kind of want to have and he's also a collector and a bro i don't know i just i feel like that'd be a fun career so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do but we are going to probably go ahead and try for baby oh my gosh kind of want to kind of want to i kind of want to <laughs> um but yeah noah and katrina are gonna do their thing then noah will probably move out but um you know I, I want to try for a baby, so why not? She's like, yeah, I'm down for it. Oh my gosh, what am I about to do? I'm probably going to regret this, but I don't care. Go have that baby girl. Go have that baby. Or actually, go make that baby girl. I'm going to go to bed, but Jose, how is he feeling? He's uh, pretty, pretty good. He's just hungry and his hygiene's down pretty low. Uh, so... 
He starts in four days. No, he starts tomorrow. He does not start in four days. He can't. Okay. He is a charisma level three, comedy level one, fitness level four, logic one, mixology one. So, I mean, he, he has some skills. Nothing too crazy. And I wonder what his relationship is with everybody. Okay, he really doesn't like Fernando, and he also doesn't like this girl, Sonia. But he kind of had this, uh, uh, no, this girl, Maya, and him were lovebirds, and he had an interest in her. Well, Maya does not look as good as Candace, um, and Candace is obviously the full package. She's sweet, she's beautiful, she's also a chef. It's all about Candace. It's the Candace show, okay? So, no, not happening. Um, I like how Abby has, like, an afro right here. So cute, Abby. Um, oh, what is this? He has a book in his inventory. I guess that's pretty cool. And let's see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to have Jose come over here really quickly and just have a snack. And Candace is going to go to bed because she does unfortunately have work. He's going to go have some milk. Candace, yeah. Just go to sleep. And uh, pleasantly satisfied from good woohooing. I'm pretty sure there is a hidden woohoo skill, if I'm correct. Uh, but yeah, she has work 19 hours, unfortunately. But yeah, here's Jose just drinking some milk. Just drinking some milk. And he's going to shower. He's feeling real strong. Look at him. He's very happy. I'm so happy that Jose moved in. I really am. And I think Noah's waking up right now. Yep, Noah. I love Noah. He's gonna go use the toilet. Take a shower. He's like, who is this and why Why is he still here? <laughs> Noah, you have a new roommate, buddy. Oh, and he's happy he has a promotion. He's so cute. He has to pee and poor Jose just like kicked him out. What a jerk. I know, Noah. Just have your breakfast, and I'll, I'll get him out of there in a second. Have your breakfast, and I'm going to have Jose go ahead and head to bed. And Noah. Aw, I love him. My little Hulk. My little The Rock. So cute. Okay, Jose. Jesus, get out of there. Get out. Take your naked little body and get out. Noah has to go pee. Don't make this, like freaking man triple the size of you piss himself probably not a good idea okay and then noah's gonna come get the mail because he does have uh i'm pretty sure an element has been delivered so you can go ahead and do that and grab it okay and what is it what is in the mail yep it is actually quite a few elements awesome why can't I place them? Can, oh, I think these aren't uh, elements that we need, maybe. Oh, no, there we go. Maybe? Uh-oh. I don't think these are elements that we need. Huh. I think we could use one of them, but I guess we can't use the others, which sucks. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's cool. Uh, so how you test out if you are pregnant, for those who don't know, um, it's actually pretty much the coolest thing ever. <laughs> it's, it's unique to Sims games, and I'm a fan of it. Uh, you take a pregnancy test. You click on the toilet, and you click take a pregnancy test. It's, it's a little different, so let's go ahead and take a pregnancy test for 15 simoleons. And congratulations, Candace is expecting there's going to be a new addition to this household. Oh my gosh. How did she just put on all that weight? I don't think this is from the baby. <laughs> I don't think this is from the baby. Um, Candace, holy freaking guacamole seriously what okay i'm actually going to purchase some workout gear because geez like i don't know what's with this game but um let's see we're going to do activities and skills active and cardio we'll do this right here and we will put it 
and Jose does like to work out as well, so we'll put it right there, I guess, for now. Um, let's go back to live mode, and she's gonna go ahead and work out a little bit this morning. Actually, she needs to eat and everything. Oh, and she's, she's still really, really tired. Candace, it's like 3 a.m. Why are you awake? Go cook a gourmet meal. Go make some chicken, whatever this is. <laughs> um, and let's have Noah. Noah needs to go shower now. Go take a shower. And I can't believe, like, I, it's just, it's so crazy how this game works. <laughs> oh, and she's very uncomfortable from the cheap bed. We'll have to upgrade that sooner or later. But look at her new stove, guys. I love it. That's like amazing, her new stove. She's feeling very confident from her meal. That looks delicious, by the way. Oh, that looks so good. Yum, yum, yum. I That looks delicious. I just, I'm so hungry right now. I could go for some food. Yes. And then I'm going to have her go to sleep. What is Noah going to do? I guess party by himself at like 3 a.m. Noah, go back to bed. When does he have work? He has work in five hours. Yeah, go back to bed, Noah. Alrighty, guys, so everybody is in bed right now. I will see you all probably when they wake up. Alrighty, guys, it is now morning time. Noah is off to work for today, and Jose actually does not have work for three days because I guess he's not going to work today. I don't think he is. Yeah, he's not going to work today, and he has the weekend off, so that's awesome. And hopefully Noah is going to take the day off tomorrow so we can have his wedding. But we're actually going to come over here and start a pen pal. Why not? Uh, let's see. Where is it on here? Is it in writing? I think it is. Right? No. Household career? No, no. Write jokes? Order? Mmm. Um, donate to online charity? No. Where is it? Where is it? Socialize. Find a pen pal. There it is. So you go under socialize and find a pen pal. Uh, pretty much when you get a pen pal, they will send you postcards. And I mean, hello, that's exactly what I want to do so I can get postcards. Uh, so Jose is going to be my little pen pal buddy, I guess. I don't know. Um, and goofballs are often playful, which would make a lot of sense. But here he is looking. It looks like he's on like plentyoffish.com. More like plenty of whales. Um, did he find one? All right, I've posted on the pen pal wall forms. Now to wait and see if anybody responds. It's kind of like online dating in The Sims, which is kind of cool. Well, in The Sims 3, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and put this in the inventory. Um, And I guess we'll come over here and dig these up for Noah. Let's go ahead and dig and dig. All right, cool. And what does he need for a promotion? He needs to enthuse about space with three Sims. Okay. We will definitely do that. Um, so what did we gather? We gathered turquoise, which that's pretty awesome. And oh, another time capsule. <gasps> and we got DJ Candy, which I'm pretty sure we don't have her. We don't have DJ Candy. Woo! But she's so freaking cute. Look at her. Yay. So now we have DJ Candy and turquoise, which I'm pretty sure we need turquoise for our wall. So we're going to send that in for Noah. And Candace is going to come out here and work out a little bit. I'm going to have Jose help her out with the garden, of course. Harvest everything, weed everything, and water. Which, ooh, I think something over here can be evolved. <gasps> what can be evolved? What can be evolved? Oh, nothing? They're just sparkling because they're in good condition, I suppose. All right, cool. He's just going to kind of help her out with that. But yeah, here she is working out. Good for her. And she's now level two of the fitness skill. Awesome. But yeah, we're going to fast forward this just a little bit. I cannot wait to build a new house. <laughs> I'm very excited. All right, is she done working out? She is. Good for Candace. We're going to have her go clean up that cup over here. Just clean up the house, I suppose. Yep. Look at her nice, beautiful kitchen. Absolutely in love with it. And we can actually change her maternity wear as well, which I know a lot of people really, really hated with The Sims 3 is how you had limited maternity wear. And for the most part, they were all really fugly. I know. Uh, so I think you guys should be happy to know that you can pretty much put a majority of the clothing on your Sims. So that's exactly what we're going to do. 
I'm just going to get a dresser really quickly. Okay. And we're going to come over here and plan our outfit. Alrighty, guys. So I went ahead and changed her appearance. And I also adjusted her weight because I don't know why. It's just a weird glitch. But here is her new maternity wear. And I think it's adorable. I also put a little bit of custom content makeup on her. As you can see, she, had, she has like eyelashes and some new eyeshadow and lip gloss and everything. Because custom content addict. Uh, so yeah, I think she looks adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And look how friggin' happy Candace looks. Like, that smile is actually a little creepy, but it's all good. I will see you all in the next part when we have Noah's little wedding. And I don't know if Candace will give birth in the next part. I don't think she will. But she will be working on her trimesters, which is very exciting. So I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.